Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share a makeover of my kids' bathroom with y'all today. I've been wanting to redo the girls' bathroom since we moved in, and I've had so many ideas, and so this was such a long overdue video. So get excited, and we are about to jump on in. Tim and I are about to head into Lowe's to pick up some stuff for our bathroom remodel. We're very excited to work with Minwax and Lowe's and get the girls' bathroom looking cute. So we're about to head in, pick up everything we need, and we're gonna take you guys along with us. So if you're new here, I have two young little girls, Callie and Cadence, who are three and eight. They basically have the entire upstairs to themselves in our house. Talk about lucky kids, right? When I was a kid, I had to argue just to get the bigger bedroom. Anyway, they're super girly girls, so I wanted to have a fun, colorful, and girly bathroom for them. I really hope that you guys will check out Minwax. I've never been so happy with the process. From picking out the colors at Lowe's to putting it together, the entire process was so easy and doable. Trust me, if I can do it, so can you. All the products I use will be linked down below, so please, please check them out. So to start out with this project, we decided to do a rainbow shiplap on the back wall and I could not love it more. I had literally never seen anything like this, but I love shiplap and I loved rainbows, so I had to go for it. This is where Minwax and their amazing products came in. We transformed this wall from blah to beautiful with the Minwax products. We bought the shiplap boards from Lowe's, sanded them, and started off with the pre-stained wood conditioner to ensure a cohesive color on each board. Next we started the fun part, the staining. We used the Minwax water-based solid color stain to give each board a vibrant color that enhanced the wood's natural beauty and character. We used four different colors so it would give it a real nice rainbow effect. And honestly, I have never stained in that much in my life, but Minwax made it so easy and so fun. So when using the Minwax Wood Finish Water-Based Solid Stain, you apply it with a brush and then use a synthetic applicator pad on a paint edger to take off the excess to give it the perfect finish where it really enhances the wood grain. Water-based stain is definitely the way to go when staining since it's low odor and super quick and easy. The Minwax Solid Stain also dries super fast, which is something I loved about working with this project since it means you can complete your DIY project in just one day. So if you're impatient like me, it's perfect. We're so happy with how the color turned out. It was a rich, beautiful color in just one coat and also kept the beautiful wood grain texture. I wanna give a huge shout out to my husband for not only helping me, but for also hearing me out on my crazy ideas. When your wife tells you they want a rainbow wall, you give her a rainbow wall, you know? And that's what he did, y'all. He honestly deserves the world for just putting up with me in general, not to mention when he actually makes my visions come to life like this. Also, he's great at teaching me new things, like how to use a nail gun or how to take out a toilet. So in case you guys were wondering, I will leave the names of the colors down below, but they were Wood Rose, Sunwash Blue, Wisteria, and Honeydew. And it was super easy to get them tinted right at Lowe's. After all the boards were painted, I put a final coat of the polycrylic protective top coat on to protect the wood from everyday wear and tear. The colors turned out so pretty and putting the shiplap up actually went super quick and easy. So next up was the fun part. We had to paint these walls. Like every other room in our house, we went with the color Agreeable Gray from HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams. It's just so agreeable, y'all. Literally, it's the perfect color. I could not believe how much it changed the bathroom right away. It's amazing what a fresh coat of paint can do. The tool I used can be bought at Lowe's for like five bucks. It's a paint edger and I swear to God, y'all, it saves so much time. You'll never tape things again. It takes using it a bit to get the hang of it, but you will never ever go back once you do. So 
So my name is Keely. I'm a full-time working mom of two. I'm married to my husband, Tim, who you're gonna see a ton in this video because he's literally the chip to my Joanna when it comes to these home projects. I make videos about everything from home decor to DIY projects and all about working mom life. I hope that if you're new, you will subscribe. I would love to have you. I always keep it real and I pride myself on being relatable and always showing the realistic side of mom life. Next up, we decided to do the floor. We didn't want anything too complicated, so we went with some easy peel and stick flooring from Lowe's. Super inexpensive and transforms the room right away. We just had linoleum in here before, so the new floor went down super easy over it, and if we ever decide to change it, it'll be super easy too. A little tip for doing peel and stick flooring, make sure to measure it twice and use a sharp knife or pair of scissors. When you're cutting, also go super slow so you don't get jagged edges. We messed up a couple times, but we got the hang of it and the new floors brightened up the room so much. This was the first time we've ever done anything like this, so I'm super happy with how it turned out. Another tip, maybe drink some wine while you're doing it. If you're doing it with your husband, it makes the whole process a lot less stressful. Just kidding, kind of. So we did take out the toilet twice. Because I'm a realist and I work full time, there was no way we were gonna get this room done all in one day. And also because we have kids, there was no way we were going to go more than one day without a toilet in one of the rooms. So we put the toilet in and out twice. And I'll tell you what, I never actually realized how easy taking a toilet out is. Literally two screws and it's out. I was a little mind blown y'all. Just don't forget to turn the water up before you unscrew it. It's much easier to put the flooring under the toilet than to cut around it, trust me. I've said this once already today, but make sure to measure everything twice before cutting. That'll make everything so much more easy and smooth. After lots of measuring, cutting, and walking up and down the stairs, we were actually able to assemble the wall pretty quickly and watch the rainbow come together. If you're not already, please make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I like to share more fun behind the scenes with you guys there. In the description box, you can find links, but you can always find me anywhere by searching Keely Rainbow. Fun fact, my middle name is actually Rainbow. Thanks for that, Dad. So after finishing the wall, it was time to clean up and put together the final details. I cleaned all the tools and mess out, scrubbed everything as much as I could, and started to decorate. We went with pretty limited decoration since I wanted the wall to be the main focus. A white shower curtain and a few tiny little touches gave everything just what it needed to draw together the decor without it being overwhelming. So in addition to this bathroom makeover, we also have a ton of other projects going on in our house right now. Next up will be a walk-in closet makeover and reorganization for my eight-year-old's closet. That place was a wreck, but I'm super excited because it's turning out really good. Then we're going to be doing a makeover of our really tiny laundry room, so stay tuned for all of that.
And also, because we just found out that school is going to be online only, I'm going to be reorganizing my office to accommodate another desk and all of our homeschool stuff we're gonna need. So wish me luck, not just on the project, but also because my kids are gonna be learning virtually this year. Of course, I'll be sharing all these projects with you guys, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Quick question, are your kids going to school online this year or will they be in person? Are you doing it through public school or are you gonna be homeschooling? I love to hear what other people are doing and other people in my position who are branching out on something brand new. Is that a good height for you? Yeah. You can reach that good? Yep. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Right. That's good. So that's it guys, our kids bathroom makeover is complete. It's beautiful, colorful, and so fun with our little girls. I can't wait to share it with Cadence when she gets back in a couple weeks. Honestly, this would be my dream bathroom if I was a kid. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I wanna thank Minwax for sponsoring today's video and definitely being one of the best companies I've ever had the pleasure of working with. They've been so kind and so helpful and I will honestly always go with their products from now on. If you have any questions, feel free to share them down below and we will make sure to answer them ASAP. I love interacting with you guys and getting to know you. And as always, if this video inspired you whatsoever, please take pictures and share them with me so I can share them with our community. Have a great day, guys. Bye.